Why, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. This is a Taku Show Out. Today is, of course, Monday, June 7th, 2021. Oh my god, we're a, we're a full week. It's it's a full week into June already. I can't I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, we've got the piano here in 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 vision. Oh boy. So, what to talk about before we get into today's stream as we, you know, wait for people to come in if they want to come and watch today's stream. The usual stuff that we talk about at the beginning of the stream. Uh, this weekend was different than usual uh, because my mother had work being done on her car. Uh, so that sort of delayed when we went to the store, but that was about it. And, uh, well, her car's working a lot better than it was before. Uh, there's, there's noises that have been fixed. Uh, there was, uh, a lot of, like, front-end stuff done on it. And, uh, complete replacement of some sort of a manifold piece i don't i don't even know what the all the things were uh, that the guy did but it was uh needed work for her car uh her car is a 2006 toyota corolla so now that she's had the uh major work done on it the only thing that the guy couldn't do was Two new tires for the front, which she said they needed, the, me the mechanic guy. Basically, she had her partner knew a guy, so the guy, uh, 12-year mechanic, uh, retired from it, works with the public school system now, uh, just at his house fixed the car at his house for the cost of the parts and some labor um a bit uh, quite a bit uh in the labor cost but uh yeah it's good it's good work that's that's been done uh, on the car although does still need two front tires and uh needs to go in to the dealership to get the airbags replaced again because as it turns out her specific model of car has undergone now a second recall on airbags she's already taken it in for replacements once now she has to do it again because as it turns out the replacements are also defective and subject to a, a another problem yeah, that that's a thing. That's a thing. I think I guess it affects many, many, many multiple models of car that use the specific type of airbags. So it's uh, affecting quite a few people, and they keep sending notices about it, even if they say, including several notices that said this is the final notice, and it was not the final notice. They kept sending more and more and more notices about it. And of course, you'll need the state inspection. It got. Uh, Basically, the car got in really good shape, uh, not only to pass the state inspection, but to uh, uh, work well again. Uh, that was that was it. Got a tune up. Got the cabin air filters replaced. All all of that stuff uh, done. Made it made it rejuvenated. Back back to glorious condition yet again uh, so that was the weekend <laughs> was waiting on that and uh i did some rearranging in the den uh, i have more things in my office more boxes are in my office right now um except that they're boxes of inventory of all of the things that my mother intends to sell through her resale business i've taken that inventory stuff 
and stuck it in my office to clear up a little bit of room in the den. Uh, in particular because... <laughs> we had an entire recliner that you couldn't sit in. Because it was so much stuff in front of and on top of the recliner. So now I can actually go into the den and sit in that specific recliner. There are two recliners and a sofa in the den. You can get to one recliner and the sofa, but not that other recliner. And considering it's entering into hurricane season now, there may be times in the middle of the night where there's a tornado warning where we have to go down into the den. Uh, the den is the lowest, most central area in the house. Although, granted, it does have a couple of windows, floor-level windows. Um, it's just about the safest we could be in the house. So that's where we go. Uh, and we had to do that, I think, last year, year before, something like that. There, there was a tropical system that came through and we had tornado warnings at 3 a.m., 4 a.m. Actually, I think it was like three times in the 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock hour. And we had to keep coming back, get up, come down, and have the, have the kitties with us. Yes, it had to have been last year because the cats were with us. Yeah, the, the kittens, they were out and about. It must have been last year. July or August um, but before we got the bulk of the stuff so it was July um, what would have been July or late June so now we can we can have our seats uh, in there uh, for whenever we get a uh, tropical system go through the area I live is not particularly prone to extremely strong hurricanes and any strong hurricanes that do tend to come in our direction end up going over uh, a significant amount of land mass to our south before it reaches us at its uh, full strength center so by the time that the actual strongest part of the storm reaches us it's weakened significantly um, there have been a few storms, though, that have caused significant damage in our area. Uh, I'm thinking of one that we actually did evacuate for. I think it was Hurricane Isabel. Uh, and that one, there was an evacuation order for areas, low-lying areas in our region. Technically, it didn't quite apply to us at the house we were living in at the time, but we did leave anyway and went to Massachusetts to my grandmother's house for several days. Um, and I watched on the news as our fishing pier that we would go to and fish was literally destroyed by the hurricane. Uh, just on, on the cameras, on screen, live, watched as the fishing pier that I was fishing on <laughs> as, a, as a child was destroyed before my very eyes. So, uh... Yeah, we we do occasionally get big storms <laughs> around here that that do some damage. Uh, the pier has since been rebuilt. It was actually rebuilt very quickly uh, and renamed, and uh, been there a couple times. Not not that much since then. But this was a long time ago. We're talking more than ten years ago, more than more than fifteen years ago, I think actually. Now that I think about it, that, that hurricane was a long, long time ago, and we have not had anything as strong as that since uh, hit this area. Um, and we've moved since then. Oh, and when we came back from evacuating in th from that hurricane, we came back and the person who lives next to us had a tree on his house. And the house was subsequently demolished, sold, and uh, a new house was built in its place uh, with someone else living there. And it was a really big house, too. <laughs> really big, expensive uh, place. 
so with all that being said, that was that was like the the weekend shenaniganry. Uh, I woke up this morning to news from a game that I've been playing uh, a lot called Genshin Impact. I've I've spoken of this in my streams uh, quite a bit over the course of time uh, here these past many months that the game has been out and uh yeah they released their patch notes for the 1.6 patch that's going to be happening on the 9th uh this wednesday uh basically there's going to be five hours of downtime and it'll be like 11 o'clock at night my time when the servers go live so basically the majority of wednesday i won't be playing the game wednesday evening uh until thursday morning uh so they they gave the patch notes for everything that's coming with it. Uh, I was not impressed. Uh, but they also teased slash announced characters that aren't even coming in 1.6 that are coming later down the line, uh, including two that there was no previous... Uh, word of their existence uh before no no official word of their existence prior that's that's what i will say is uh they they released a small amount of information and, and official artwork for characters that had previously had information leaked about them uh in a lot greater of detail than what was provided but hey finally the company is actually doing it right, doing something right, and releasing information about characters uh, more than two weeks before they're released into the game. So now we know about the existence of a pyro archer named Yoimiya, as well as the existence of an animo character named Sayu. They did not release the uh, the weapon, although I know the weapon, and it's the character that I've been saying that I've been looking forward to. <laughs> uh, they did not release the stars slash rarity of these characters either, but uh, yeah, I know that too. <laughs> uh, we yeah the the there's been a lot more information that's been leaked about these characters. I won't broadcast it so much uh but uh yeah they're they're good characters and i'm not going to be wishing at all in patch 1.6 i think uh definitely not on the initial character or weapon banner i've got both of the five star weapons in the weapon banner that's coming uh as the first banner in 1.6 and i've got all i've got clee and I've got very high constellations on all three of the other characters. Uh, like, I have, a, I have a full C6 Sucrose already. And I'm like one or two off on uh, the Barbara. And I think three off on the Fischl or something like that. So I have no reason to wish on the character banner. And I have no reason to wish on the weapon banner. When I've got both of the five star weapons. Ah, uh, so, at minimum, I'm not wishing until the Kazuha banner in three weeks after the launch of 1.6, and I don't even really want that character. Uh, one-handed sword user, that's a guy at 5-star. We sort of already have a one-handed animo sword user that's a girl, <laughs> and she's getting a cosmetic skin this patch anyway anyway now that we've had time for folks to come in potentially say hello how about we play a game called subnautica <laughs> uh that was just all something that was on my mind and uh i think that there were several reasons that mihoyo decided to put out information about these uh new characters that will eventually be coming into the game they didn't say when but the assumption is with the 1.7 in azuma region patch 
aka 2.0, which is also highly spec like hinted, teased that it's next. Uh, and that's because the stuff in 1.6 is temporary. <laughs> that's that's the that that's like my thought on it is that they're excuse me. Sit. There you go. That that's my thought on it is that they've released this rather unfortunate news that the new islands in patch 1.6 for Genshin Impact are going to be time limited and will be removed from the game after 1.6 when they release the new region. Um, and these islands won't be part of this of the new region, apparently. So uh, that's really bad, especially since this is going to be a bit of an exploration thing as well. There's going to be stuff to find, and it's like, ah, you're adding landmass into the game that's going to be removed, and I don't like that. I don't, I don't like it. So they, they leak these new characters to get people to stop slash not talk about the fact that this is going to be limited stuff, and that is bad, and it's awful design, and it's just terrible. But, ooh, shiny new characters. Here, have a, have two cute characters that we've never announced before. Here, here's information. Now go talk about all this. Uh, and just ignore the the fact that the stuff in 1.6 is extremely temporary <laughs> and going to be removed. Yeah. <sighs> Hello and welcome. Good morning. Welcome to Subnautica Below Zero, where last time I made a thumper, apparently, with a charge of 16% because I used a battery that was at 16%. Did you know that the uh, the Subnautica Below Zero wiki has not been updated to reflect that batteries that are used when used to make a tool will retain the charge that it had before? Did you know that that is not reflected on the... Uh, the battery page on the Subnautica Below Zero wiki. And I know this because it has a trivia entry at the bottom of that page that specifically says that the charge is reset to 100 when a used battery is used to make a tool. Which is false. Which is not true. Uh, used batteries retain their charge now when used in the crafting of a tool. Which is just fascinating, eh? Very, very fascinating. And I have been, by the way, looking at the, at the wiki. And today is going to be a resource hunt day. Actually, today is going to be a biome hunt day. Uh, I need to find and get to one very specific biome. But uh, there are a few things while I'm on this menu that I should talk about. Uh, so I looked up raw resource usage and locations. Uh, I did not look up, like the map locations like on the map like where i need to go besides having the names of specific biomes where these resources are located and like a, getting a general idea ish of where to look but uh i don't know like where the other shipwrecks are that i need to go to there's two other shipwrecks that i need to go to that have this uh whatever battery thing, special uh, battery, parallel processing unit, that thing, yeah. I need to find the two other pieces of this and they're in their own unique uh, shipwrecks. I don't know where those are, so I'll need to find those, for example, as well as the locations of multiple other blueprints um, and the locations of all of the alien stuff that we need to go and scan. I still need to do that. I haven't looked up 
that specific information. But what I have looked up is, what's nickel used for? And where can we find it? The names of the biomes of where we can find it. Where is kyanite? And how much do I need? Just as an example, where is my nickel? I have one unit of nickel. Where did it go? I have one entire unit. It is here. My one whole unit of nickel. Do you know how many nickel units are required to beat this game? Of uh, Subnautica Below Zero. How many total would you think? 10? 20? 30? Five. Five are required. And I say I say required with quotes because it really depends on how you get down into the depths. So nickel is required only for three specific things. One of which we've gotten because it exists on the map already as a thing and I've obtained it already. And that is two for the prawn suit jump jet upgrade, which we already have. Which we can we found in the copper mining facility. So we already have that. You only need to get two nickel if, for whatever reason, your prawn suit is destroyed and you need to get a new one. You also need two for the prawn suit Mark II depth upgrade and three for the Mark III sea truck depth upgrade. And those are the only things that use nickel in the entire game. Where is nickel found? Well, it is found in the Crystal Caves uh, lab lily pad crevice, which is where I think I may have found the one unit of uh, nickel that I have. Uh, and in the Deep Lily Pads Cave, and one part of uh, story progression that is a little bit beyond deeper than the Crystal Caves, so it's not uh, exactly relevant when you need the nickel to get the upgrades to get deep enough into that particular uh, zone anyway. Kyanite. I have one unit of kyanite. How much kyanite do we need? Well, we need three for a story item. We need one for the Mark II prawn suit depth upgrade. We need two for the sea truck depth Mark III upgrade. And then if we want the prawn thermal reactor upgrade, we'll need another two. So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight total of which we have one. So seven more, and they are found in the Crystal Caves and the biome after. Uh, so I will need to brave the uh, the Leviathan that's in the Crystal Caverns. Hello, welcome, welcome to the stream. I'm just discussing some of the uh, the resources require uh, that are required here in uh, Subnautica Below Zero. What we're missing. Uh, and what we'll still need, uh, and where I'm going to try to go to find these things that I will uh, eventually need. Um, so, that was that was the nickel, of which we need like four units more total. The kyanite, of which we need seven more units total. We also need young cotton anemone. Uh, which is an ingredient in the polyaniline uh, process. It's used for the hydrochloric acid, this young cotton anemone. That stuff is found only in the Deep Lily Pads Cave. So clearly we need to go to the Deep Lily Pads Cave because it also has nickel. Hey, wouldn't you know it? Uh, so we need uh, 15 minimum of these young cotton anemones uh, because the polyaniline uh, from the HCL HCL is only used 
for the polyaniline. This stuff, we need two for the prawn suit thermal reactor, one for the sea truck perimeter defense if it's been destroyed, because we have a perimeter defense for the sea truck already, which I forgot last time that you can actually hold the button down and charge up the perimeter defense to make it stronger uh, of, a, of a blast around you, and it can push away leviathans, get them to want scurry off as well uh, when you use it. Uh, you need one for charge fins and one for a story progress item. So we're talking bare minimum one regardless of anything, just for the story progress item that it's used for. Uh, we have several of these root pustules somewhere. I thought these things. Um, I looked up these, and it turns out you you only need two of them in grand total for a story item that we need to craft. Uh, hint, we've already sort of revealed them. It's these three things here. These architect components. Yeah, these are ingredients that'll be involved in the creation of these architect components down there. Um, so the main use of the root pustules is actually as bioreactor fuel. Because uh, apparently these things are 700 bioreactor energy each. And they're a one slot item. That makes them really good. Let, let's be honest, that makes them really, really good for bioreactor. If I had a bioreactor. Which I don't. Uh, let's see, there's also... Benzene. I don't know if I actually have the recipe for benzene... Yet? No. Uh, it would appear I do not have the recipe for benzene yet. But, that's going to need this item called Flowering Spores, which is also found in the Deep Lily Pads cave. <laughs> so both the young cotton anemone and the flowering spore plants are both in the Deep Lily Pad caves. And what do you need the benzene for? You only need it for one thing, and you need two units of it. And that's for the grappling arm. Uh, on the prawn suit. So it's not even required. It's just for the grappling arm for the prawn suit. Uh, uraninite is only used to make fuel rods for nuclear reactor. Each rod is 20,000 units of energy. Once that energy is used, you can fit four rods at a time in the reactor, by the way. Uh, once the rods are used, you get used fuel rods at the end of it that can only the only thing you can do with them is dispose of them in a specific nuclear waste disposal uh, trash can, basically. You can't reprocess them. Just uh, delete them from the face of existence once they're used. Um, and there is a, a couple locations for scanning that. Uh, which leaves me with one other item that we have sort of found, and that is Magnetite. This is one we'll need a lot of. Um, this is one we'll need a lot of. I didn't actually write the location down in my notes, but lo and behold, Deep Lily Pad's Cave. Uh, Crystal ca Caverns. You know, that area that we were in last time. Uh, we, we did go down to the Crystal uh, Caverns and got this one unit of kyanite, for example, as well as a bunch of uh, magnetite down there. Uh, we need a lot of magnetite, uh, apparently, because it's we're going to need two for the snow fox once we unlock it. We need two if we want to get a prawn suit propulsion arm uh, gun. Uh, you need one each for vortex torpedoes. I have no intention of ever using vortex torpedoes. Uh, you need one each for thumpers. We may want multiple thumpers. Uh, although... The Snow Fox has an upgrade that makes it... Uh, 
so that you don't get attacked by sandworms. Sandworms? Snowworms. Uh, much. And apparently there's a thing with a snow fox where the sandworms just knock you off of it and it doesn't actually do damage to the snow fox or to you, so... As long as you have one and you're riding on it, you just get knocked off and then you get back on and keep going. Uh, you can basically just ignore the, uh... The, the snow worms because of that. I don't know if that's a thing that was fixed, because that sounds more like a bug to me. But, uh... Yeah, there's also the upgrade for it. That makes it not as, uh, well, the, the wording on the upgrade is that it makes it less common, but by less common, it might just mean completely immune, as in does not get attacked anymore. Uh, let's see, we need two for the thermal reactor, the geothermal reactor. Uh, so we've got two of those if I want to make a base near the uh, Crystal Caverns, for example. Because uh, one thing I was thinking about at the end of our last stream on Friday was setting up a base in the uh, Deep Purple Vents uh, near... essentially near the alien uh, fossil scanner. Uh, because that's, like, r literally right next to the entrance to the Crystal Caverns. Um, a safe part of the Crystal Caverns, where the uh, Leviathan does not roam. Um, just as a way of farming magnetite uh, over time. Uh, and potentially nickel, because apparently nickel is there too. Uh, might not have to do that, but... It being next to these vents, hot vents, means that I can get power, immense amounts of power, with uh, geothermal generation. Um, as for the other uses of the magnetite, you need, of course, one per scanner range upgrade, one for the HUD chip. We already have the scanner room HUD chip. Uh, and then one per executive toy. Um... We're not going to get the executive toy. I, I, I don't think we're going to make that when it uses an entire magnetite. Uh, so what I'm thinking here is I will want at least two more for the snow fox uh, over what I have now and potentially additional thumpers. Um, otherwise, not really that many more are required. Uh, compared to what I have now. Uh, and that's what I looked at. That's what I looked... Oh, I did write down what the where the magnetite is. It's in the Deep Lily Pads Cave, Crystal Cave, and a, and a bunch of other areas. East Arctic, West Arctic, Glacial Basin Caves, and Glacial Connection. I don't think we've been to any of those uh, yet. Uh, so, we're going to be doing... Uh, some sea-based uh, exploration, meaning I don't need to carry around these terrestrial-based items in my inventory. Uh, same applies to the thermos. Uh, what I need, or what I could w use, would be additional batteries. So... Uh, for the batteries, I need my ribbon plants. How many do I have on me? I've got a couple. It's ribbon plants and what now? Copper. I, I may have some copper. Some copper. One, two, three, four... How much copper each? Oh. Okay. Oh, ribbon plants.
Oh, that gave multiple seeds and a whack. Hmm. There we go. Oh, did I just literally replant? Yes. Come on, seed. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Welcome Let us captain. make a few more batteries. Uh, I'll store a few of them as well, just to have on hand. Why bother storing ribbon plants when I can just store the uh, batteries, right? Uh, ooh, good point. I should uh, swap out these four batteries with these four fresh ones and then stick the rest in uh, my charger. There we go. Do, 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 do. There we go. Good. Uh, and then let's actually take out these three to have uh, fresh replacements in the inventory just in case we need them. And then that's the repair tool. Where's my laser? Ah. That could also be charged, but I think you're going to live on four for now. Oh, and I looked up the headlamp. Uh, yeah. Headlamp. Needs ion battery. This is a perpetual source of light. It uses your helmet slot. Uh, and you can toggle it on and off uh, with the right mouse button if you don't have any tool uh, currently equipped, held. Uh, and it does not need... Uh, a new battery ever so once you put the ion battery in it will last until the end of time uh, sort of like the uh, the thermo blade with its battery will last until the end of time oh, I was gonna build this too wasn't I oh I have it already that's right I did that at the end of last stream I, ma I made the docking module for the sea truck Uh, so, my main problem with the headlamp is that it does mean that you cannot have the rebreather equipped when you use it. So I'm not very inclined to make one. Not that I have the recipe to make the ion batteries in the first place. Speaking of the ion batteries, uh, I do don't like that there's not the option to upgrade your battery into an ion battery. However, I can understand why it doesn't exist because the Recyclotron exists and we can recycle batteries back to the base components. Uh, essentially, the ion battery is just the battery recipe plus an ion cube. That's it. That's all. That's what it is. Tis what it is. Oh, right. I should uh, fill up my meters. There we go. Thank God they removed the overeating damage penalty. Okay. So, sea truck. I also tested this. Uh, entering the into the moon pool with a sea truck with the back end on it and uh, that failed miserably it just attaches itself from its train welcome abroad uh where did i park my stuff why did i park uh hello 
leg. Okay, uh, I'm stuck. Uh, so, right now, with my sea truck, I've got my prawn suit attached on the back. Huzzah! See? You've got the, uh, the thingy here. Now, I could also attach the other module over here in between, but I don't really... I don't really see the need, right? Like, why... Why do I need this? Uh, so this is the sleeper pod. We can't put anything in the sleeper pod, so... What's the point? I don't, I don't see one. There are other modules that ha have a much better use that, unfortunately, I don't have access to right now. Let me see here. Uh, I would like this, actually, with gas torpedoes. Uh, and I can make... I can make that. Hold up. Why am I leaving when I can make the torpedo arm? Ah, that's a problem, though. Um, there are actually multiple ways to deal with leviathans. <laughs> uh, and I think one way that is preferred uh, in below zero, because we don't have the stasis rifle... Uh, is actually use the grappling arm and the drill arm on the prawn suit. Grapple the middle of the leviathan and drill arm them to death. Or if you have, if you don't have the drill arm, a regular, the regular punchy arm, and just punch them to death. <laughs> it's it is really slow, and. Uh, your suit will take some hits. You'll have to run off, repair, and go back to it. Uh, so it, it does seem like, since part of the strategy is to run, repair, and return, uh, that the damage does stay uh, to the Leviathans. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to uh, recover. I would imagine it recovers if the entity despawns like you go far enough away that the entity disappears or you restart the game or just whatever i would i would imagine that ha that there are some ways in which the uh health recovers just code wise unless they are considered unique special entities with a health value that is stored somewhere forever um, and remembered uh, as some set variable um, in which case yeah then then it'll maintain that because of course this assumes that the that there are some enemies that are quote unquote random but when it comes to the Leviathans they're all hand placed unique entities. Uh, I don't know about some of the smaller predators, like the Cryptosuchus and the uh, Brute Sharks and the uh, Squid Shark things. If those have been manually placed as unique entities, because if a Leviathan kills them, they will respawn. If you kill them, they will not respawn. Did you know that? If you if you kill a predator, it's gone. Forever. If a predator kills a predator, they respawn. After like half an hour or something like that. Uh, anyway, I'm just looking for my... Uh, uh, the spot that has... 
like the sea truck modules on it. Yeah, so this fabricator module would come in handy. The aquarium module would come in handy. Um, and there's also a late story one that would also be really very handy. Regardless, enough uh, dilly dallying. I'm. Oops. I need to find. Oh, it actually pings the caches. Okay, that's that's good to know. Uh, so that alien architect body cache is going to give us the uh, body, a blueprint section of one of these three. Uh, and then that's going to help with our progression. I think the next alien artifact that we scan, actually, is going to be the uh, unlocking of the ion batteries and... Uh, the ion uh, doohickeys. Power cells. Uh, the, the batteries in the power cells have five times as much energy uh, capacity. So that is really good to know. I just need to make sure that I do not come face to face with the coliserate. That is in the southeast direction. Uh, and I want to keep an eye out for lily pads. Lily pads is what we're looking for. Lilies. Okay, this is a biome. This is purple vents. That's a sound. Remember, what I'm trying to avoid is the, uh, Calicerate. I think I've avoided it, but we'll see. I don't know the locations of any of the other Calicerates. That's the other key here. What is... Oh, that's a Cryptosuchus. What is that? Oh, Lithium. Hello, Cryptosuchus. Goodbye, Cryptosuchus. Uh, so this is actually going to lead me... Back to deep caves. I don't actually know how to get to that alien artifact. Now that I'm... Now that I'm thinking about it. Yeah, this is just going to lead me towards the, uh... the other area, and if I stay down here and I keep trudging through these caverns, it'll eventually lead me to Marguerite's base again. And I don't need to go there at this point in time. We have a quest to complete first. Uh, I do know that I missed a data box for the still suit underneath Marguerite's thing. Oh, this. I, so, yeah, I've been here. That means we have... Uh, we have gone past the Calicerate at this point. Maybe. Hello, Cryptosuchus. Goodbye, Cryptosuchus. Uh, okay, so that is a, an area, another biome. I do hope that this is the lily pad biome. Yes, this is the lily pad biome. We need to go down. 
dive the depths of the li lily pad biome uh, and find a way down. Uh, so we need to make sure that we actually find the deep lily cove caverns uh, and not the crevice because uh, I think this is currently the crevice. Uh, and not the caves. I want to uh, exit to scan. Oh. This has already been scanned. What about you? You are the grappling arm, which I already have. Okay. So this being most likely the crevice Okay, that's where we actually just were. That leads to lily pad crevice, and then eventually somewhere around here should be a place to go deeper. That looks deeper to me. That is a thing. Hello, thing. We must delve deeper. Oh, that's a. This artifact could provide useful information. Processing. Okay. Hey, congrats, Pi. Py on uh, your purchasing of the game. Okay, Marine Life Analyzer. Uh, which means this is still crevice. Oh, hey, look, the ion battery. Didn't I... Didn't I just say something about ion battery? And power cell being the next artifact I find? Yeah. There we go. We got, we got the thing. Father humans cope with the loss of memories. Like... Forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know, it just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't that... Warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will squeeze <laughs> both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well... On a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. Mm-hmm. Are you done? Yes. Thank God. Uh, so I have to I'm I'm looking for the entrance to the lily pad caves. Which this is not lily pad caves as far as I'm aware. This is a uh, crevice. Although maybe I should pay attention to the specific plants that are around me. Because you never know, I might actually be in the area where I need to be. Hey, get off. Get unstuck. That's the torpedo arm 
I think. It's some sort of... I don't know, what are you? Oh, Ultra Capacity Tank. I... Huh. How convenient. I will take the ruby. Ruby is awesome. Pilot. Ooh, that. That's a big hunk of silver, isn't it? Problem is, I already have a locker of silver. That's like completely full. Okay, I'm seeing a way down. I believe if you search this area, you can find a component to help build my body. Well, wouldn't you know it? The body cache is likely in lily pad caverns. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Okay, this is officially lily pad caverns slash caves. Uh, I know because of these floating globules. Globules. Thingies. Hi. New blueprint synthesized for benzene. Ow. Ow. Well, that appears to be what's, uh, dangerous about this place. Here, let's get into the, uh, prawn suit. Welcome abroad. I need these things. Oh my god, there's, there's so many in each patch. Just gib. Just gib all the things. I need at least 15, so... I think I've... I think I've obtained the 15. Here. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Alright, that's 15. And I will... Probably just drop all the spares. Uh, and as for the flowering spores, uh, as I said, I only need two. Let's get in the vehicle. Uh, I only need two. Uh, for the grappling arm, if I want to make the grappling arm. Because uh, it's two benzene, and I'm pretty sure it's one to one. Let's have a look-see. Uh, I don't even have the grappling arm unlocked. That doesn't help. Oh, gold and silver and lithium and ion. Okay. That is not ribbon plants. That is not anything to do with regular batteries. Sure. Ah, so it's two plus ribbon plant, so I will need four. Uh, at least. Let's grab a couple more. One more. There you are. 
Hi. There was one right there. Get in. So this is a nice location. I like this location. This location has nickel somewhere. I'm I'm now here to find magnetite and nickel. Uh, it also has rubies, apparently. I've got quite a few rubies already. I know there's two there and I only grab one. Uh, so if I need to drop anything, it would that would be the rubies that I would drop. Ah, uraninite is also here. Oh boy. This place has all of the things. I'm I'm not even kidding. This this place has everything in it. Oh wow, even a uh, titanium and a quartz drill site. Oh, triops. Oh, and diamond. If only I needed diamond. If only I needed diamond. You've been meaning to check this out? I mean, it's very... It's it's a pretty good game. I'm not gonna say otherwise. Uh, it's very pretty. That's for certain. Very, very pretty. We're in a very deep biome right now. Lily pad caverns or caves. That was a notification. Hello. Welcome. Thank you for the subscription. Following the channel. Uh, I stream this particular game every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Right now I'm looking for... I'm looking for nickel and magnetite. In particular, those those two things, nickel and magnetite, and ideally I will find some before I die. I don't have to worry so much about the uh, food as much as I do about the water. Food is one thing. Uh, I've got a thermo blade. I have as much food as I want. There's nickel. Hello. I now have two nickel of the five total that I need. Huzzah. Two out of five. Can we get three out of five? And four and five. There's... Ah, inventory full on the uh, doohickey. Alright, fine. Fill me up. Alright, there's... There's my three out of five with one in the base, two in the prawn suit. Can we get... Another nickel. There we go. There's four. One more. One more nickel. That's all we need. That's all we need. One more. Of course, just to... Say again what what I need the nickel for. I need the nickel to get depth upgrades. 
as a necessary ingredient for two depth upgrades. Oh, there's magnetite. Thank you kindly. And there's the last nickel. So I need five total units of nickel. Oh, I should, uh... I should drop that quartz and gold. Uh, yeah, so I need two total units. Or, yeah, five total units of nickel. I have one already. Uh, because I need three for one depth upgrade, and I need two for another. Of course, I need other things besides nickel for the depth upgrades. Uh, it's just that, uh... Oh, hi, that's... I'm sure telling me something about where I need to go. All the way down there. Hello, thing. Now, I'm gonna get my sea truck before I go down there. I'm also on the hunt for magnetite in this biome. Uh, as you saw, I got one. Uh, I could use more. I could use spare nickel if I come across it. Uh, but primarily now... That's like a seahorse. Okay. Primarily now my focus is uh, the magnetite while I'm down here. There's more. Although magnetite is uh, in multiple areas. Multiple of additional areas. Uh, I came here because there are very specific resources that are only here. Yes, Gib Nickel. I've got I've got more than I need now. I just I need the magnetite. There's my glorious magnetite. Uh, I will drop the rubies if I need to. Um, just so as we know. Gosh, all the uh, stuffs everywhere. Glorious things. Uh, there's no point to put a base down here when we need very little. Uh, basically, we came for these anemones uh, that we can that we can now plant in an exterior grow bed. Uh, so we'll never we'll never need them, need to come back here besides like if I need those flowering spores for benzene and they're only, ben benzene's only used for one thing. So it's like, why would I bother? when benzene's only used for one thing. Here, you can take those. Uh, leave me with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leave me with the 15 that I need, and I'll take all that stuff. Uh, and I would like the two um, more. So that's, that's the minimums that I need that are in my inventory. Uh, I guess I can kill the... Uh, I can get rid of the silver and the rubies. Uh, okay, let's pilot. Drink my water, eat my nutrient block. And before I die of dehydration, we're going to be going to the body cache. Where's the body cache? Hang there. Now, I just need to remember where that path down is.
That would be great if I could remember where that path down is. I think it was over back here. Maybe. That sure looks like a way down to me. Oh, and the other thing is I don't believe there are any uh, leviathans or major threats at all in here. Is this really not? Oh, you son of a... Oh, this is the... Okay, so there, there's a special thing here, and I think we just got the special thing from this biome. Uh, there are two creature eggs in this biome for unique creatures. Uh, and that is the... I think it's the yellow trivalves. And I think that's what I actually just found was the two yellow triops eggs. Uh, they are the only triops, yellow slash gold triops eggs uh, in the game. There are four blue triops eggs total, I think. Uh, but I need to I need to keep an eye out because I do need water. Uh, so I may I may have to leave and come back if I can't quickly find the way down to that body cache. Which is a little bit frustrating because I know that I found the way down. It had a little alien platform like that right next to it. There we go. I think this is the way to the body cache. Oh, I just need to be careful not to go below 600. Ah, squid shark. Hello. Some tells me that body cache is below 600, so I will... Park. Uh, above. And then get out and head over. Welcome. We're on land now. Ancient ornamental plant. Architect component. It's Skellington. Okay, now we can leave and never come back. Uh, pilot, thanks. Yeah, so that's the thing I don't know, actually. Uh, if I do go below 600 meters, will the prawn suit in the back start taking damage?
because the prawn suit has a depth of 600, not 650. The sea truck has 650. That makes, it makes me wonder. Now I just need to have, need to find my way up again. And out and make my way back to my base, my home, my home base. Could we bring the master volume up a bit? Because it's hard to hear the dialogue. Yeah, I can bring master up a bit. There you can be 65. Where? Where's the way up? Bang. Okay, there's the way up. Let me out of here! Before I die of dehydration. Ooh, more magnetite. Want. Want. I only got out because I saw that there were two, at least, of the magnetite there. Get back in. I hear a kitty cat making noises behind me. At least it better be a kitty cat making noises behind me. Oh my gosh, let me, let me out, let me out, let me out to the surface. Get thee to the surface. Actually, maybe not to the surface, because uh, there's the potential for scary things on the surface. All right, we need to head this way. This is the way. Back home. Now we just gotta make it home and eat and drink. Drink some water. Just as long as the chalicerate doesn't kill us along the way. And or those guys, the, the squid sharks. That totally make your vehicles go out of commission for a few seconds when they're when they're little electric tentacles hit you. Oh, is that a... Uh, I, 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 okay. Uh, I need to come back to explore this. Uh, that is a whale. Okay, that's, that's fine. Uh, I'll need, I'll need to remember that this is here. Uh, let's see, 850-ish to the southeast. Don't let me forget. 850 southeast of base. Unless I've already explored that one. There's three, and just the angle I was looking at that was a little... I was, I was questioning. All right, that clisterate is like somewhere around here. So I'm gonna go more nor in an attempt to uh, avoid it. One of these days I'm gonna kill it and not have to worry about it ever again. We must kill the leviathans that are in our way. We're almost home. We're almost there. Come on. Come on, blue bar. I know I've got enough time before I die of the dehydration. I don't know. If I'm dehydrated, I don't think it's an immediate death. I think it just starts taking health damage, right? I would expect it to take CQ health damage. Intake. Yeah, yeah, I know. You know what would help would be the still suit. Which just straight up gives you water over time. 
Uh, and it offsets a lot of your uh, drain. It doesn't completely remove the need for water, but it uh, recycles water. Actually, I need the, the water purification uh, station. That's what I really need. Alright, do I have any water? I don't think I actually have any water, do I? Okay, good. I've got... I've got three. Doink, doink, doink. Stabilizing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grab that, too, and eat it. Just top me up. Now that's looking a lot more healthy. <laughs> Between the nickel and the magnetite. I've got a lot of resources. Uh, let me process all of this as well. Okay, I need ribbon plants. And... Salt. I need another ribbon plant. Ah, salt, 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 salt. I've got plenty, and I've, I haven't even used any yet. So there we go. We're making our hydrochloric acid. Remember that this is only used for the polyaniline. Uh, so we should go all the way to polyaniline if we can, making as much as possible. Give me my gold. Last thing I want to do is lose all this inventory of stuff, this advanced material. Okay, what else do I need? One more ribbon plant, at least. Doink. Okay. Uh, so remember that the two benzene are very specifically for one item <laughs> in grand total. It is used for the prawn suit grappling arm. Uh, and the polyaniline is used for several things. What is it used for again? Uh, polyaniline. Polyaniline. Based off of the anemones. So it's two for the prawn suit thermal reactor, which actually needs two kyanite as well. I need one more kyanite before I can get that thermal reactor. Uh, da, 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 da. Then we need one for if our sea truck's perimeter defense gets destroyed, if our sea truck gets destroyed. We'll need another uh, one for the perimeter defense, and then we need one for charge fins and one for story item. Uh, and I don't have the charge fins yet. So, essentially, every polyaniline is not used yet. I, I don't use any of it yet for anything. I would like ion batteries, though. Yeah, I already have this jump jet upgrade, and I have the spare nickel to uh, to get it, just in case. Just in case. I'd like that afterburner. That afterburner would be nice. And doesn't the sea truck have a storage module on it? As well as the fabricator module? I don't know. 
I think so. Where did I park? Hey, buddy. Open storage. Gibbs stuffs. Uh, you are gonna plant those. Uh, and then thwack, thwack, thwack. There we go. That will cover that. Can't plant the spores. Can't hatch the eggs. I don't have a uh, alien containment, so I'll just store the eggs for now, and I'll store the uh, extra nickel. Phew! We've done the thing. We've we've done it. It's good. Whatever it is. Uh, so, I could use bigger, better batteries and power cells. So, let's see. Ion cubes. How many ion cubes shall I use for batteries? Gold, silver, lithium, and cube. Well, I have four total cubes right now. I'll use three of them. I need gold. This will use all of my gold. Huh. Uh, it was gold, silver, the cubes, and what now? Lithium. I have a little bit of lithium. Just, uh, just a smidge. Uh, so essentially I want a uh, power cell as well. Uh, silicone and wiring kit. Okay, that's going to be two more. You for the wiring kit. And I think I need to make a silicone. Yeah, I need to make a silicone. Uh, a silicone is one or two. It's one seed cluster. One seed cluster for two silicone and a wiring kit. And that will let me build a power cell. As I've said, a power cell has five times the, the ion battery and the ion power cell. They have five times the capacity of the basics versions. Uh, I want to actually uh, break down, I think. Maybe if I if I need the stuff I'll break it down, but I no I no longer will carry those power cells with me I think, nor those batteries, um, not all of those batteries I should say. This is what's going to get the ion battery, my uh, my sea glide. That seems like the best use of the ion battery. Uh, as for the power cell, I don't know. I really don't know what I want. Oh, that's the alarm to say, oh hey, we're, we're halfway. That's at 32, that's at 100. This guy, 80 and 80. So, sea truck or prawn suit? I'm thinking that I will end up in the prawn suit a lot more often. However, 
once I get the thermal upgrade to the prawn suit, it's not actually what I wanted. Uh, once I get the thermal upgrade, uh, that's going to be there. And, uh, and that's what I'm going to use uh, in the grand scheme. Uh, and I won't need the greater capacity uh, in that case. I'm actually going to uh, disconnect and dock in the moon pool to allow the sea truck to charge off of my base power. It's fine. Into the base. Get the power cell charging. Swap that. Swap that. And sit. And now, now we take a break. And I will jack that up if music decides to play. Or maybe we shall jukebox. Sit. And with that... I will return shortly, as you'll hear that out of one ear only.
And I have returned. Welcome back. We're going to uh, stop that. Yes, I put I put the chair facing the jukebox because for whatever reason it has directional sound. I didn't want to go to break having the sound, the, the music from just one ear the entire time. Ah, oh, great. Yes, that's that's fantastic. So what are we going to do now? I've got no idea. Uh, I sort of just did what I wanted to do. Like, the only thing I had planned ahead of time. I need to find another Snow Fox Fragment. Somewhere. That's that's a big uh, issue. I need I need the snow fox and I need its upgrade. Um, I need to find the other two wreckages to unlock the parallel processing unit recipe. I need to find additional blueprints for additional modules. I need uh, I would like to get that sea truck afterburner upgrade. That high that ultra high capacity tank would be. Fantastic. Um, otherwise, yeah, that's uh, that's about it. That's all I really want. Question: Am I not actively scanning anything? No, I am not. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I don't need any Galena then. Or any of the uh, the stuff that's within range of my scanner. That's a good thing. Let's be completely clear on that. That's a very, very, very good thing. Also, we unlocked the architect skeleton. Yeah, that's the thing that needs the polyaniline. Polyaniline, three diamonds, and plasteel. I can make all of those things. Uh, before I leave. Engorge myself. Uh, do I have water? Of course, the answer is going to be no. Uh, I do not have water. Why would I have water? Why would I have this thing known as water? That sounds... like a thing that I should have. Why would I why would I have a thing that I should have? We we don't have things that I should have around here. Oh yeah, I totally got these spiral plants, don't I? Yeah. Oh yeah, and I have the antenna fruit. That's a lot of food. That is a lot of food. So now I have to go and I have to grab bladder fish. What is that sound I keep hearing? It's like there's a, uh... It's like there's a thermal vent. Nearby. Uh, where I built my base, and I keep I keep hearing it over and over again. Uh, so, it seems like Below Zero does an extremely good job of pushing you in, uh... The direction to complete the story. That's... That's something I've been noticing uh, with its pings. And I am so glad that it keeps the uh, the pings uh, until you've completely cleared a thing. Like that alien distress call origin, that did not go away. I am happy that that did not go away. I am happy that the Delta Station signal is an actual beacon that stays there. Right? Same with the uh, fire robotics landing pad. And that little beacon there for the cave entrance, yeah, that was actually, like, right next door to, to another thing that it was beaconing. Um, little facility that it was beaconing. <laughs> Alright, where are all these bladderfish? I need, I need my random spawn bladderfish, hey. Come on. There's one. Hello, mine. 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 Uh, this this game does a ver a much better job than uh, 
than the base game Subnautica, or original Subnautica does. Now, some people don't like the actual pushing you towards the story aspect of Below Zero. I've, I have actually seen, it was the PC Gamer review of it, complaining, complaining that the game actually is pushing you to the story. And I'm like, uh, excuse me? <laughs> excuse me? Uh, are you high? Are you dumb? That's a problem with base original Subnautica is that it didn't provide enough uh, push, enough direction for what to do. When people don't even know that your game has an end state, that's a problem. That's a serious problem. There are people who own Subnautica and have played Subnautica. They don't know that it has an end state. That you can beat the game. They, they think it's like some other things where it's like you build the base and that's like sandbox that it's a sandbox and you just do things and build things and explore the world and that's the whole of the experience no there is a story with two paths that you need to follow of different aspects one involving alien and one involving human and escaping the planet, ultimately. That's what both will culminate towards, and you'll get to a point in one path where you need to complete the other in order to progress. That's the one thing about nighttime, is the fish do uh, sleep slash slow down when it's nighttime, at least it seems like it does anyway. Let's see, how many bladder fish do we have? A few. And so I appreciate Below Zero because it keeps you going in the correct direction. It really feels like in Base Subnautica, it does not push you at times in a correct direction. Or in any direction at all. It's like you do you do get distress calls that you need to make sure that you actually build a like and have a receiver for. I think that's part of the problem, really, in the original game, the first game, is just the fact that you needed the receiver and you needed to go and actually interact with the receiver uh, at times to get story and to get pings to a new location, that was just, that's not right. It's easy to miss progression. And it's actually really easy to skip progression in Subnautica uh, in the original game. I think like the any percent speed runs of the base game of Subnautica are extremely fast. If you know how to beat the game, you know the exact resource counts that you need to beat the game. You can just do the things that you need to do. Skip the entire story completely and the whole experience and you're good. <laughs> and you're good. Ah, so that's my water supply now. Do I even have enough storage in a singular storage? Yeah, you. I'm going to go ahead and keep, like, that much water on me. Uh, and top myself up with my local food. As I get back to my sea truck. Uh, so just by nature of below zero, simply giving you the uh, 
the next beacon in the chain without having to interact with some object, uh, it makes the story flow. And by keeping the uh, pings, by keeping the pings on the map, the, the beacons make them actual beacons that appear for you, by keeping them there, uh, it gives you a sense of, hey, I've been there before. I know what's there, and I'm not going to get lost and forget that that's there, and forget what direction. It gives it gives the, the player that uh, that sense of figuring out where things are in the world, able to map it out because there's no map. There's there's no map in this game, <laughs> right? You you have a semblance of a map by building a scanner room but it's not the whole thing and it doesn't tell you like what biomes what where the where the caves lead you have to figure that out for yourself and it's up to you to place additional beacons to keep track of what's what about the place you know I don't use them <laughs> you may have noticed I don't use them ahem <clears throat> Uh, I need to go in what direction again? It was 850 meters to the southeast. From the base ping. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking for additional wreckages right now. Uh, and that's a thing that I think could be explained just a little bit better in this specific part of Below Zero. Because right now the game is telling me exclusively, find these alien artifacts. It's pushing me in that, uh, the alien route. When it gave me that last known pilot position already uh, and I've been there and gotten Marguerite's quest which requires me to build an item that needs an item that I don't have and that exists only in uh, an area uh, in these uh, wreckages. It exists only in these wreckages. So it would be great if the game pushed me towards getting those wreckages, right? <laughs> so it would be great if the game had at some point, or maybe I just missed it, uh, would have told me that these are things that exist. Uh, 850, so we need to go further along. Whoops, that missed. That is a squid shark. Hello, squid shark. Uh, are we we are beyond 850 so I know I've gone too far is that a copper node yes that looks like a copper node to me uh, so I know that around 850 is the wreckage. Now the question is, where exactly is the wreckage there? And I think that's the one I've already been to. Hello? Oh. You 
can't get in that way. Uh, so this being wreck one, I should have, or whatever number wreck this is, I should already have that. Uh, and that actually had a uh, upgrade module, I think, inside of it. Anyway, get me out of here. I'm looking for other locations. I don't need that titanium. The question is... Where's the others? Where are the other wrecks? pieces. Well, uh, let's see here. We can take a guess and say that uh, it's going to be on the seafloor and it's going to be somewhat nearby. Those are the best guesses I have seafloor and somewhat nearby just as long as we avoid the uh, squid sharks along the way oh that auto that auto casts oh that sucks I don't like that that auto casts Another copper and quartz. Big nodes, big nodes out here. This is actually convenient. All right, I need to keep an eye out as I hug the uh, bottom here. A for calicerates, B for the world end zone uh because that i think as we are 1200 meters away from base is coming up we'll know because we'll get a message saying hey you've gone too far And Leviathans will spawn in. And I think this is it. This, this would be the end of the line. All right. Now I know. Uh, if you go any further, the game will spawn in Leviathans. And it will keep spawning them in until you die. Uh, I, actually, I think it spawns in three, and you are highly likely to die. Uh, so we're just going to head... Like, explore this region, because this is a biome, right? With, uh, like, prawn suit stuff uh, around it. And I think we've got, like, whales up above. Yeah, that's a whale. And that's a wall of ice. Huh. So among all the titanium and stuff that's over here, we've got... Ice. Well, something tells me that a wreckage will not be located beneath a thing that's more copper.
Well, it's good to know that there are infinite supplies of quartz and titanium and copper out over here. Uh, from prawn suit uh, stuffs. Problem is, that's not what I'm looking for. No, not in the slightest is that what I'm looking for. Uh, so the next question would be... If I head to the surface... Is there a way onto that glacial mass? Uh, nah. Why is there a whale? Uh, excuse me? Whale? Um. Found in nearby iceberg detected. A hollow chamber typically formed by glacial melt. Uh, hollow chamber, huh? Something tells me we need to explore that. Wherever it may be. to worry about the whales. They are technically leviathans. Just so we're clear on that detail. Yes, they are leviathans. No, they aren't harmful. So how are we doing as we explore? Hello. Is that a way up through land? Is that nah, nah. We've just got a uh a bit of a thing there and whatever. I don't see anything of note. Not on the surface, not on the bottom. This is like it sucks. I don't I don't know. I don't get it. Why is it why is it even a thing? Like hello? Biome, why do you exist? Like why why do you exist? Besides common resources, that's the only thing you've got. That's like the only thing you've got going for you are the common resources uh, around you. Alright, let's head in the direction of lily pads. I guess. Slash that alien artifact. Because we've already found... Uh, deep lily pads. We haven't really explored... Lily pads. Either. We've explored the lily pad crevice. Uh, found that there's at least one artifact. I, the one. Volcano detected nearby. Okay, you tell me that, and then you don't give a location. This looks volcanic, actually. Ah. 
that explains everything. Artifact. Inside the inactive volcano with diamonds. With this artifact, I am again able to trace the imprint of my people. They survived for a time, but then their presence becomes faint. Architect Artifact. Thank you for the cube. And uh, thank you for the cube. The question is... I don't think I can go down there. I don't think going down there is... Uh, even remotely a good idea. Even though, yeah, there's there's some resources on the walls. I think the prawn suit is what that's really meant for. Uh, if going down there. I don't see the point. Uh, so that was that ping. Is there another... Ping? Because I've scanned your alien artifact. I've... I've scanned it. What did that give me? Nada? Nada. Nothing of use, anyway. Well, that's the, uh... That's the volcano. That the game just sent me to. Let's... Head in the direction of my base, and then swing more towards west from here. Okay, there's a squid shark. Buddy. Go away. Uh, so that's the same one I've uh, explored of the wreckage. I need to find, still, the other two. Where are the other two? I have no idea. Whatsoever. Who knows, maybe they're on a big floating rock. Maybe there's one that's actually floating among the lily pads. I don't know. It's always possible, I guess. Because this is the lily pad biome now. Thunderstorm. Thunder and lightning. Oh no. I don't even know what I'm looking for in lily pads. Go away. Let's go west. Oh, right, there's that pilot last known position. Oh, there's that thing. You go inside, huh? So do you end up over here? Do you come out over here? 
No? No, you do not. That's unfortunate. Because usually when I see one of those little alien power tentacles, that I'll call them, uh, following them leads to stuff. May have already followed that one, though. Ah, so much stuff to explore! Yeah, you know, like that big light shining brightly. Usually you just follow the thing and it leads to stuff. But you can't really follow a thing when it's just not leading anywhere. It's that way down. Well, regardless, let's continue to the, like, south or west or both. As I continue looking for wreckage. Hi. Boom. Okay, what's over here? Ooh. Well, this is a thing. I've not been here yet. The vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Ahem. That's big. Can I scan? Why is there a Leviathan? Um, the bar? Where'd you go? Yeah, that's a, that's a cholesterol. Rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. We are safe from the Clicerate. I don't think it can physically reach us. So, what's down here? Besides heat. Oh, and a thermal generator fragment. Why, hello. That's a thing. Marguerite, it's log one. What are you? Something I already have. Just like I already have the thermal plant. Uh, and that would be the, uh, the power line as well that I also already have. Uh, so we've got diamond, ruby, and uraninite here. Interesting that I just, I, there's nothing new. Why is there nothing new? Why do you exist if you don't have anything new? That makes me sad. Uh, 
That makes me so sad. It's like, why? However, I will follow the power lines that are ideally going to lead me to a base. Uh, just as long as I keep following the power cables. Uh, that's one. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? I don't know. I don't see it. Oh, there's some stuff. A spy pangling. Oh, gee. If only I needed a spy pangling. Huh? What do you got? The still suit! Oh, but doesn't that mean I'm... I'm under Marguerite's base? Oh. Oh. But... Okay, that's the fragment to the thing. That's another fragment to the geothermal, pretty sure. Yeah, thermal, thermal plant generator fragments. But that's a little odd, though. Right? Because this here... This here leads to a thermal plant that's broken. Marguerite's thing doesn't use this for its power, and yet here it is? Like, where's the next link in the chain, as it were? I don't... I don't know. What I do know is that I am getting thoroughly lost. And that I don't need to be here. I've already been to Alien Artifact PK8. Technically. So then let's continue into areas I haven't been. May as well keep going. because uh, I know... Oh. Hello. I did not know you led directly to Crystal Caves. To another entrance to Crystal Caves. Um... Well... Uh... The question is, where is that Leviathan? Also, Magnetite is here. And Lithium. And a lot more Lithium. And a lot more lithium. And magnetite. Oh, there's some kyanite. Hello. Cool. Any more kyanite? Just hanging out? Gosh, I hope so. 
Hey, that's enough kyanite to do an upgrade. Because now I have two, right? Two whole units? Oh, now, now I have three whole units. Well, wouldn't you know. I did, I did not realize that Marguerite's base led directly to Crystal Caverns <laughs> that quickly. Uh, hmm. That is very interesting. What's also interesting is that this appears to be a separate entrance than the one I used previously. Uh, and it appears that this is not where the Leviathan is. At least not yet. And there's a crevice there. And more kyanite. Hmm. Okay, so the question, the thing to check is, well, what's in the crevice, of course. Looks just like general more stuff. Of course I'm going to take the magnetite. And eat that cooked triops. That was not a cry I wanted to hear. Uh, because there is a shadow leviathan. One in uh, the general vicinity. But, uh, let's think of it this way. We just got four more units of Kyanite. How many did I need in total of Kyanite? Oh, I need three for a story item. Uh, three for a story item, two for the Prawn Thermal Reactor, two for the Sea Truck Depth Mark Three, and one for the Prawn Depth Mark Two. Ah, oh, God. Um... So that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, uh, I need three more. I need three more kyanite. Did I eat that cooked triops already? Yes, I did. And it didn't give me anything. Well, uh... Oh, you could do negative water. That sucks. I guess if I had the, uh... Right, if I had the other thingy. The fabricator module, I suppose I could get water basically anywhere, right? The, uh, the sea truck fabricator thing. Come here. Get hit, thanks. Eat. Uh, part of me just wants to get into the prawn suit. Oh, the prawn suit's 700. I was wrong. <laughs> Clearly. Well, if the prawn suit is 700, I think we're 
fine. Sea truck 650. Alright, I'm going to take this along edges as I look for additional kyanite like that one. Remember, I need now two more units of the stuff. And then the last thing I want is to dive down there. Okay, that's the Leviathan. I need to get away. Alright, where is it swimming? Because that's the... That's the million dollar question. Where is it swimming? I need this. And I need that. Alright, thank you. Come again. We're we're done here. We're we're done we're done here. Goodbye. So long. I won't miss you until I have to come here for the story as I make my way past you. Uh, cause yeah, we'll we'll need to be back for, for all that. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and I have one at home for eight. Well, that was fun. We have uh, actually obtained all of the Kyanite that I need. Uh, barring uh, mayhem, destruction, unintended destruction. And all of that just by following a path from Marguerite's base. Under Marguerite's base. Like, uh, hmm. That was actually quite easy. Like, that, that should not have been as easy as it was, and yet it was super, super simple. Like, excuse me? And then the top has these, has the lights that lead right to her base, right? From the uh, pilot last known position. It has all of the, uh, all of the lights to follow. So it's like, huh. God, I think this leads to the, uh, to the surface. We'll head back to our base in order to get all of the uh, stuff stored. I don't like that the freaking predators can clip through the terrain. That's what I don't like is the predators clipping through the terrain. Why hello. I've not seen you before, or have I? Boom! Run away. Uh, actually, I think I may have been here. What do you have? Ooh, water. Ah, just a is just sea truck fragment 
and battery. And a jukebox disc. And a PDA. That I apparently hadn't gotten. Maybe I should read those PDAs, huh? That might, uh, that might tell me something. About the, uh, shipwrecks. Might, might actually reveal something about the locations of the shipwrecks, huh? I should probably pay better attention. Cryptosuchus. Goodbye, Cryptosuchus. Uh, actually, that uh, Chalicerid is like at a depth of 60-ish, so I know that I'm okay here. At least I better be. At least I better be okay here. 400 meters from base. There better not be a freaking Callista at 400 meters from my base. Alright. Progress. Can you believe it? Actual freaking progress. I shouldn't have drunk that when I'm so close to base and could just eat my way to max. You know, they probably put additional shipwrecks on the surface, didn't they? At least one, right? Ugh. I'm not looking forward to that little detail. Okay, get out. Uh, repair stick. Prawn's okay. Storage is empty. In the base. Welcome aboard, Captain. We're good. We're so good. Do mm. do. Oh, I've got so much magnetite. Hello, hello. Thank you kindly for all the. Glorious magnetite and lithium. Oh my goodness. Stuff. So much stuff. I need to... <laughs> I need more. More storage is required. My gosh. Ah! Well, that means... I... I can totally get the upgrades now. Like, right now. To the max depth of both of these. Uh, so that's gonna need 5 nickel, 5 nickel, 3 kyanite, and a plasteel. Um, Hello, Ollie. Hello, Ollie. Ollie's gonna come visit. Is he gonna go up? Ollie's gonna go up. Is he? Is he gonna come say hi? Where's Ollie? Where's my Ollie? By the way, I have a fan in the background. I don't know if you can hear the uh, the fan if it's been blowing on the microphone. Gee, I hope not. Gee, I hope the fan hasn't been blowing on the microphone this entire time. I was supposed to turn that off. But I forgot. Uh, I would like the still suit. Aerogel, copper, and synthetic fibers. Uh, okay, I need to actually grab the depth modules. 
off of both of the thingies. Uh, let's see. Upgrade hatch. Uh, I need you. And I need you. So now we'll get to see what the maximum depth upgrades look like on the prawn suit and the sea truck. How do I have this already? It feels like I've just started playing this game, but today's what? Day six? Day five? Five. The fifth stream, which means I've been playing more like, well, I've done 12 hours. Uh, so this is 14 and a half hours at this point in time in on this save, taking our time, doing genuine exploration. And this is our progress thus far. All right, you can get your Mark III. Crush depth, 1,000 meters. Uh, and as for you, crush depth, 1,100 meters. Yay. Yay. Um... The deepest biome does not go 1,000, uh, I don't think. Uh, I'd actually have to check that. I would have to check said thing, but I would not want to go there in the sea truck, if you know what I mean. Sort of like the, uh, sort of like how with the Cyclops in Subnautica, you would not want to actually go to the absolute deepest part, considering that the the destination has uh, teleportation. And it's not like you can teleport your Cyclops, right? If you go through all, through all the effort to get there. Hello, Ollie. That's my boy. That's a pretty boy. I came to join us at the last half hour of the stream today. Yeah. Is he a comfy boy? Is he comfy boy? Yeah, he's a comfy. He's a comfy boy. Uh, there's that baby. Yes, there's the baby. Okay. You. I find it hilarious how I've just needed one of these fevered pepper trees. And I totally have, like, two more down here. Ah. <laughs> uh, that's... It happens. Sometimes. Sometimes you, don't, you just end up with more stuff than you need. Uh, yeah. So. Hey. PDAs. Oh, wait. Somehow I have two. I mean, I, I know I know those, though. I, I know those, though. Why do, you, why do you say that those are new? Could you, uh... Not make them new? Could you, could you not do like the pluses on that? I I don't need the I don't need the pluses. Oh that hid and it's still there. Okay. Okay. So once I've explored them I could just yeah, I could just toggle them. I'm glad that it kept that it keeps those. Um I don't need to see the cave entrance one. Uh, anymore. And I don't need to see the distress call origin. Just like I I don't I don't really need that C truck module just to clean up some of the screen. What's the plus one that I see here? The still suit. Yeah, I want that. Aerogel and copper wire. Uh, cause I, I've got the synthetic, a synthetic fiber somewhere. Uh, and I have a ruby. Plus gel sack. Uh, and a fair amount of copper to make the aerogel. 
and the copper wire to make the still suit. That should auto equip. Yes. Provides clean, drinkable water. So every so often, as real time passes, this will give me a water for free. Yeah, it's a little powerful. I, I like it. It doesn't completely offset your water drain, I don't think. So you still need to have water to consume. It just helps a lot with uh, meeting that demand, meeting that need. But this also means that we are ready to continue our explorations. Now that I have all of those, I mean, I guess, like, what are other areas that I haven't explored? I've explored southeast, south. I suppose I haven't exactly explored southwest, and I haven't fully explored the, uh, the deep, um, the deep, twisty bridges. That has not been fully explored at this time. Uh, basically, the only excursion we've had into deep, twisty bridges was for diamond. Just to get a few diamonds. And that was pretty much it. Because we can't, we can't forget that I'm still on the hunt for some rather useful base materials as well. Uh, like the alien containment. You know, that's that's a rather important thing. Alien containment. Yeah, that would be really good to have. But what else would be nice is to... Uh... Oh yeah, that's the alien SOS. Uh, would be to find those other... crash sites. That would be good, too. I would like that. So this is all... That's like Twisty Bridges area. See those little doohickeys everywhere. And why we're fragmented with additional kelp, I don't know. But hey, thousand meter crush depth now. All we need to do is make sure that we do not get our sea truck destroyed. Or our prawn suit, and we'll be good. Those are famous last words, aren't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, so, I'm just wondering what's, like, on the bottom here and underneath with all of these eye jellies. See if there's anything neat if we go underneath the surface anything like a useful blueprint. I mean, this is, this is pretty, don't get me wrong, is pretty, but is there anything like of value? among any of this? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say probably not. What is that? Why is that lit?
laser cut to release oxygen. Excuse me? Why would I need to release oxygen? Why would I... Why would I need that? Hmm. Cool. I guess? That's the, uh, bubble mechanic from base game original Subnautica. I mean, I can only imagine that there is something down here, right, of, of note. Like, there's some, uh, ore patches that I see. Can I even squeeze through here? Sorta. Ways up, ways down. Let's go the way up. Just to see where we emerge. Where do we emerge? Oh, hello. You're, uh... You're a thing. Wait, isn't the base like there? Right there? Aha. Uh -huh. That explains a bit. Okay. Get me into the pawn suit. Would you recover, please? Thank you. Now get up. Why is it nighttime? As I crush the panglings underfoot. Let me up. Let me up. I said, let me up. Nothing of value, huh? Well, fine. Be that way. I don't want it to be nighttime. Because things like that happen at nighttime. So there was a snow dude. <laughs> I wonder what happens when I punch it. Hey, can I get your fur? No? I want... I want I want your fur. Well, that sucks. I can't get its fur if it's dead. The fu? Why can't I get its fur if it's dead? Do I actually need the spy pangling to, to get the fur? Like, just no matter what? I think that's the case. Where even am I? I don't know. In a cave with snow stalkers. 
that apparently don't mess with me if I don't mess with them and I'm in the prawn suit. I mean, I'll... I'll take it? Uh, can I not walk through here? Game! Ah, uh, I wish you would test your game right, devs. Oh, now I'm stuck. Oh, I made it. I made it through. I have made it. Is that magnetite? Oh my god, okay. I wish I'd known that was there. Uh, thanks for all of the magnetite ever. PDA. Is that it? Is that all that's here? Like just the, the PDA? And frick tons of magnetite? I mean, don't get me wrong, the magnetite is awesome. But, I mean, come on. What it took to get. Oh, is that even more? Okay, that's, that's just silver. Let me through. Y you know, you let me in. So what you're going to do is you're going to let me out. I'm going to wiggle and wiggle and wiggle until you let me through. that's the last thing I need is to have my my vehicle stuck in here for all of time unless there's another pathway uh, that's I'm not gonna fit through that not in this doohickey so that's the that's the only other way I wish you would test your game. There we go. Oh yeah, I don't have to worry at all about food and water here. What am I? What am I thinking? I have no worries about food or water here because those fever pepper plants grow here. Gee, I hope there's no, uh, ice worm here. Would you get out of the way? Well, if there was an ice worm here, the snow stalkers would be going- Oh, hello. Um... You fight me, you die. I will take this fur. I will take this fur. I will take this fur. Uh, so that's what? Four units? Five units? Six units? How much do I need? Two? Three? Four? We've got the fur we need. Gee, I wasn't kidding about this day being a uh, resource day. Now, was I? You know, just find the snow stalker nest and walk into it with a prawn suit and you're good to go. And that grand and kill all the snow stalkers on the way except for the babies 
including one baby. Okay. Next. Is there a worm? No. Why are you a... Oh, that's a pangling. Uh, I need the... I came here and I didn't bring my pangling with me. I'm sad. I'm very sad. Oh well. No matter. Do does not matter. At least there doesn't seem to be ice worms here. Not in this specific spot, anyway. I need that. There we go. We now have access to build the snow fox. Uh, which sort of means I need to build a base here. Doesn't it? That, that inherently means I need to build a base at Fire Robotics, right? Well, I think because it's starting to get to that point. Reclaimed water? How'd I get that? Oh, that's from my still suit. Right. I've already gotten two reclaimed waters. I don't like that that's food minus three, but it is plus 20 water. Great. Yay. We did the thing. Uh... Ore veins are completely overpowered. I just want to... I want to say this. Make it very clear. My thoughts. My thoughts are that the ore veins are completely and utterly broken. Overpowered shenaniganry. Can I even fit? No. No, I cannot. Not this way. So I guess we're not going that way. We're going this way. Hello, Ollie. You're getting up? Yeah, my boy. He's warm. That's my boy. Uh, and there's no way out besides going down into the depths. Down, down we go to the depths below. To try and snake our way out. Hopefully there's a way out. There had better be a way out. I think I'll know when I'm getting close when I start to see the eye jellies again, right? Please don't be a big loop. Please don't be a big loop. Please don't be a big loop. You're a big loop. This way. I guess not. And this is a great place to explore, it's just, you know, a maze. The maze we need to get out of, if I ever want to use my sea truck again. Oh, 
Okay. We'll go this way. That's a thing. What are you? A hydrothermal vent. That's not venting. Oh, it is venting. Research hydrothermal vent. Oh boy. Uh, so that's where I was just now. Is this just a completely different area than how I got here? Probably. I don't know. We're gonna end the stream once I get back to my base. However long that takes. Oh boy. This could be a while. In all actuality. Uh, okay. So, the dock was there. Here's a path that just leads to another bit of titanium. Uh, and that, that dock was on my right. Oh, hello. Yeah, because I know I, I know I saw you. Which means I absolutely came from this way. And from below. Don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Uh, so if I came from below... Just keep an eye. Keep an eye on things. Oh, hello. Now that's a thing. Hey, it's a free ion cube. But doesn't this usually mean there's another artifact to scan? Usually it does. I find that weird that there's not an artifact to scan. Well, I hadn't noticed that initially. Okay, there's that vent. There's a path that way. Let's go into this path, where we also need to keep an eye on what is what is above me because there could just be like a way up that I didn't notice as I was going through oh see I got another still suit thing okay that was the one I opened that was the one I had come through and I saw and I opened Meaning that 
there was a pathway from here that I'm just missing somehow. Hello. Aha! We have escaped. Oh boy. We did it. Oh my gosh, that sucks. Everything about that sucks. I just want to be crystal clear that everything about that sucks. Well, I guess the still suit actually gives you more water than you drain over time. It reduces your food faster by using it, but hey, I'll never need water again, apparently, just uh, based off of the rate of the still suit giving me water versus the uh, natural drain. Well, we're going to head back to base, and we're going to call it a day once I get back there and s get the inventory sorted. My goodness, this has been quite uh, an excursion for three hours worth of stream, right? Quite the excursion. Where we... We managed to get the level 3 depth upgrades for both the sea truck and the prawn suit today. We've also unlocked access to the uh, snow fox. We've done exploration of new biomes, gone to new biomes. Um, have not found the wreckages, so I'm probably gonna look up those locations at this point we've we've gone and tried looking for these places for long enough uh, I think I'll just go and do it find them off the wiki just to get a better idea of where to look you know I need I need a I need a place to look for that uh, even though I know that we also have to now take a spy pangling out to the uh, area we just were uh, to access some uh, cache areas where all those uh, snow stalkers are. That will be fun. Um, what else did we do? We got Kyanite. Went, went down that way, got Kyanite. Uh, yeah, just stuff, things. We did. We got snow stalker fur. We got all of the magnetite ever that we could ever desire in our entire lives. Uh, we got enough kyanite for all the things. We got enough nickel for all the things. Uh, we went to that deep lily pads cavern. That's acting like it's repairing. Excuse me. Apparently my prawn suit needed repair. Uh, right, and we got, yeah, we got the, uh, young cotton anemones and all that sort of stuff. Welcome aboard, Captain. Welcome abroad! I've got an immense amount of magnetite for you. And another ion cube. That's right, we also got access to additional... 
stuffs. Stuffs, I say. Stuffs. Uh, we got access to the ion batteries and power cells. Uh, over the course of things, we've made a whole bunch of polyaniline. We got two of these little crystal eggs. I am pretty sure that these are the eggs for the yellow trivalves. And from here... Yeah, I could even... I can make the thermal reactor now. I've completely forgot about that. Oh boy. I'll do that real quick here. Because I've got the two kyanite... And what was the other thing? Uh, two polyaniline. Yeah, it's just... It's a, it's a wiring kit. There's the prawn suit thermal reactor! So now the prawn suit will recharge when you're near thermal vents. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Boy, we got the still suit as well, and, uh, oh gosh, just so, so much, so much that we got done uh, over the course of this stream. And that is where we're going to end it for the day, folks. With that, I would like to thank you all for watching. This has been Otaku Shibut. If you've enjoyed today's stream, please be sure to do all of the social and engagement stuff below the video. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and hit the notification bell. Uh, consider becoming a member of the channel by hitting the great big blue join button uh, and supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash If you're so inclined and able, I will be streaming more of my Factorio C Block playthrough tomorrow and Thursday, and I will be back with more Subnautica Below Zero on Wednesday and Friday. I hope to see you all.